guys. So today's video is going to be my unboxing share. My unboxing. Will that intro ever get old? I don't know. Maybe. You guys know the drill with these videos. I basically try on all the products for the first time on camera. And I give you my first impressions, pretty much. So that is what we are going to do today. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I broke it. By mistake. But that's okay. This is what the card looks like this month. It says Downtown Charm. Wow. Why couldn't I read that? I don't know. I'm getting old. I can't read graffiti. <laughs> I usually have like a lot of things to tell you in the beginning of these videos, but not today. At least I don't think so. So this is what the box looks like inside this month. Oh, there's a little card in the box this month where you can save 30% off of Ofra by using the code BOXY30. And then I saw this guy first. So this is the Real Her Playbook Shadow Palette. It is an eyeshadow palette, I'm assuming. Oh no. Oh wait, I have a scissor. My eyebrow scissors. Perfect. All right, let's see what this says. Oh, I think you get three options. It says eyeshadow palette one, two, or three. I got one. I'm not sure if everyone's getting a different one. I'm gonna assume yes. And this is a full-size product, obviously, and this retails for $28. Oh, I like these colors. I like these colors. It's a very neutral palette. They're mainly shimmers, but these two seem like satin finishes. And it's mainly just like bronzes and very, very neutral tones. So let's zoom in and let's try out a couple of these shades. Okay, so right off the bat, I noticed... Oh, this blends back, which I like. I noticed that because there are only two like satin type of colors, there isn't much crease work you can really do unless you dive into another palette. I would say this is the kind of palette you would want to use in conjunction with like a matte palette. But I'm going to take the color strong and I'm going to put this in my crease. There is a lot of kick up, but you know what? I feel like that's a trend these days. Yesterday I was playing with the new Naked Heat palette and I really liked the look I did, but the powders had a lot of kick up and I don't remember the other Naked palettes having that much kick up, but I really did like it anyway. That has nothing to do with this video, but I'm just saying. I feel like the new trend is really soft shadows, even though they have a lot of kick up. I feel like they're just easier to blend and all you really have to do is just tap off the excess and you're fine. This is more of a gray crease color, which is quite the opposite of what I usually do. My crease colors are always either pinky browns or warm browns. I'm just gonna do something really, really simple. I just wanna test out the pigmentation of these. Not the first color I would choose as a crease shade, but it's working. Now I'm gonna take the shade called Proud and I'm gonna put that on my entire lid. I feel like it isn't as pigmented as I want it to be. Let me put it on with my finger, maybe that helps. It doesn't have enough of a sheen. It's not extremely pigmented, but you know, Maybe that's what you're looking for. I personally don't love that color. I haven't even swatched these. I'm, oh, that one is super pigmented. That one right here is extremely pigmented. It's that one down here. This one is nice, but it's not as pigmented as this one. I don't know. I think for this palette, you have a few hits and misses. Like, I don't really love this color right here called Fun. I'm going to take this color called Fine. This one right here, it's this first shimmery color. I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to put the shade Fabulous in my inner corners. I'm going to take this purple color called Creative. It's a shimmer, but I'm going to take that underneath my lower lash line. And then last but not least, I'm going to take the black. It's called Smart, and I'm nervous. I'm going to take a little bit of this on the outer corners. I do like this black though. I mean, I'm only putting it on the outer corner, so I can't really tell if it's extremely, extremely pigmented, but it's going on really nicely. I think it's because it's another satin finish. I think the two satin finishes are really pigmented and go on really nicely, but the rest of the palette is like full of shimmers. I'm gonna take that same black and run that really close to my lower lash line. Okay, so I just wanted to test out a few shades. I'm gonna quickly put on some mascara and I will be right back. Alrighty then. So I don't know what book two or book three looks like. This one is very neutral. I wish there would have been 
more satin shades like these because these were a bit more pigmented and really easy to blend. And I've only swatched the other ones. I haven't played around with this enough. But I know just based off first impressions that I probably won't be reaching for this one much. But if you are someone who has boxy charm because you rather have just makeup delivered to your door, you're a beginner, you don't really know where to start, then this would be a good palette for you. But personally, I just feel like it wasn't pigmented enough to love. Alright, so the next thing in the box is this. I am so excited. When I saw this was in the box, I like nearly freaked out because I've always wanted to try one of these Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders. This is in the shade Illuminati. I have heard so much about these little powders. This is a full-size product and it retails for $26.99. I am a little bit nervous though because I hear that these are sparkly and I'm not like a huge fan of sparkly highlights, but I hear that this looks like stunning at night in the light like with flash photography and stuff. So I don't know, I might like this a lot for nighttime, but let's just try it out. It's a little sifter, you open it. There's like a sticker on this, wait. Okay, so I just wiggled some like right here in the cap and I'm just gonna dip my brush directly into this. This is the Zoeva 134 brush. Holy crap. Whoa, that's a lot more intense than I expected. Holy crap. Need to tap some of that off and try to blend this in. I definitely think I applied way too much product all at once there. I had never used these before, so that was my mistake. I think these are actually better as like a highlight topper. For example, if you put down kind of like a natural glowy highlight and all you want to do is hit the tops of the cheekbone like right here with this to make it like extra glowy, then I feel like this is perfect for that. Because it is a bit shimmery, I'm not gonna lie. This would be awesome, like on your shoulders. This is really, really intense. This is not your typical highlight. You wanna be very, very careful with this and be very precise because if not, you'll have shimmer like all over your cheek. Kinda like how I do right now, but this is what it looks like swatched. Ignore that little swatch of something else there. That's an eyeshadow. But it is really intense and really reflective. Okay, so the next thing in the box is this. And this is a brush from Luxie Beauty. We get these brushes a lot in the box. But I don't mind because I love Luxie. Oh. I need a little crooked. Actually, this looks a lot like the Tarte brush that I always use to apply my blush. It doesn't look like it now. Now it looks like a golf club. But I'm referring to this one. This is a limited edition Tarte brush that I use all the time for blush. But it's limited edition. And this one looks like it might be kind of like a sister of some sort. Once I wash this brush and I fix it. <laughs> if your brush came in your box like this, do not be alarmed. All you have to do is wash it and then mold it when it's wet and then lay it down on the counter and then when it dries, it will be back to normal, don't worry. It is fixable and I love Luxie so much. And that is a full size brush of Coast and that retails for $24. Okay, we are almost done. This guy's next. And I actually own this already, so I'm gonna put this aside and give it to one of my friends, and I'm gonna put on mine, that is this shade. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Santa Ana. I love this color, and I don't really wear it that often, and it is so beautiful. Let me go grab it. It's all about the winds from Santa Ana, and that's the way I like it. This is a full-size liquid lipstick, and this retails for 20 bucks, I believe, 19.90. And I'm gonna pop this shade on. Have you guys ever heard the song Catch My Disease by a man called Ben Lee? I cannot get that song out of my head right now because this lipstick is called Santa Ana and now I can't stop singing it in my head. Okay, so I already knew I loved this. I love this formula. Ofra makes one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. They last all day, but they're not drying. They're amazing. I love them so much. So I'm so glad we got this in the box because this is pretty much like the price of the box, almost. Okay, and then the last thing is this. This is a facial mask from the brand BioBell, I believe. BioBell Cosmetics 3 Sheet Mask. Oh, that's nice. So you get three in these. 
Oh yeah, there are three sheet masks. And this little set retails for $14.97. And I'm not huge on sheet masks. I know it's like a huge thing. I prefer putting on like masks I could just wash off. But this just seems so much easier, you know? Okay, so you get one that's supposed to moisturize and help the skin appear smooth and firm. And then you get this one that's supposed to be like a primer. It's gonna help you prep the skin for a flawless makeup application. That's cool. It's supposed to enhance radiance and minimize pores and even skin tone. And then this one is supposed to enhance skin's natural glow with wild rose and vitamin C. So, yes. I will definitely be trying these out in a bath or something. I will not be trying this right now because, well, I just don't want to waste it, you know? But definitely let me know in the comments below if you have tried yours yet. Have, which one have you tried? And do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments. But yes, that completes this video, guys. That was everything I got in my Buxy Sherm this month. Let me take out my calculator and let's see what the overall value was this month. Over $113. Wow, that is amazing. Let me know if you like the box this month. I thought this month it was really good. We got a liquid lipstick, that glowy powder I'm into, the eyeshadow palette, not my favorite. So yeah, let me know if you liked the, your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave it all down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm tired. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, oh. Growing, we do it every day. We're growing when we're sleeping. And even when. Ah! Hey now, hey now. When the world. I am so excited when I. That was everything I got in my boxy charm this. Boxy charm.